Well guys, as if Crusader Kings 3 couldn't get any more addictive, almost like some sort of illicit substance here, we now have a Bronze Age mod. Yeah, that's right, a Bronze Age mod. I just want to take a look at it because I'm absolutely fascinated by this time period, and I thought we were just going to get like one little time period here. No. No, no, no. We can play as any of the different pharaohs here to try and unify Egypt. We can play in the Great Sumerian Revolt. I mean, keep in mind, this is 2000 BC. This is absolutely insane. The King of Ur, I mean, just unbelievable, guys. We also have 1590 BC here, the murder of Mursil. I'll admit I know nothing about this whatsoever, huh? but it's happening in Eastern Turkey, so I'm assuming that's something interesting there. And of course, the sack of Babylon. I mean, just pretty much anything you can imagine here, it's unbelievable. Now, just for fun and just to take a look at what the game has to offer, I am going to play as the King of Ur. Of course, we, uh, the marriage, uh, the, forget that. We are Utu Hengalzer, and we have to unite Sumer as one state rather than many city-states. This is, of course, you know, one of the first, if not the first city-state. I really want to see how we do. So let's jump in as the King of Ur. I'm guessing we're more like... Well, essentially, um, a duke, not a, not really a king. But let's jump in and see how we do anyway. Okay, so as you can see here, I mean, the world is absolutely massive. And we've got all the big boys here. We've got Athens, we've got Thebes, we've got Sparta over here, although it's actually too early to be Sparta yet. Uh, but just amazing, the, the amount of actual detail he's used here. And for those of you that don't know, this guy actually was... Um, well, created a mod like this for Imperator, and I always thought how great would it be if he brought this mod to Crusader Kings, and it looks amazing. These are Heraclea, all these areas, this is like Troy, so I'm sure he's going to eventually get a Trojan War mod in here, but for now, of course, we've got to deal with Ur, with Egypt, with all of these just superpowers, I mean, well, at least for the time period, right? And it looks like we are already at war here, the Great Sumerian Revolt has begun. And we need to do something about it. Now, we don't have a lot of money, so I hope we have enough to even stand up against um, the revolting party, the Gitan Horde. And over here, you can see that Gitan is absolutely massive in comparison to Sumer. So we want to get out there quickly, and thankfully, we've got a lot of allies willing to fight with us. But this just opens up so many different possibilities in-game as to what we can do. Now, it looks like there's an active election in the Mata of Sumer, a title ruled by Engal Utu Hengal. Currently, the leading candidate is me, so we might have some issues here in terms of elective processes. In fact, I want to see, uh, not our council, my realm. We're an urban kingdom. Okay. Can create cadet branches. All right, so we're pretty much a standard kingdom here, but that's interesting to see that in some of these city-states around us, we can actually win their elections and become the de facto ruler. I absolutely love that. I was also really curious about the lifestyle here. So they're not going to change anything in terms of lifestyle. I don't think they really need to. I'm going to focus on authority because, of course, this is an ancient world. We need to show people we mean business, even if that means cutting their heads off. And we can also nominate our successor. Aha! Election for the heir. Can I nominate myself? I want to nominate my son, Shulgi. So let's do that. Do not cast your vote for the heir here. I guess I can just nominate myself, can't I? I don't see my son there right now. I think I'm going to wait for a bit, unless I can vote for myself. Electra's voting for you. That's what I thought, baby. I'm going to cast a vote for myself. It seems a little rude, but come on, guys. You know, this is, this is politics. What can I say? So let's go ahead and proceed forth. See if we can't crush the enemy in this war gonna take a while to get up there, isn't it? Yeah, this is even this is even medieval time, so even getting up here is gonna take a little longer than we expected. We're probably gonna have to merge with our allied army over here and attack them all together. I think that's gonna be the only way to actually break through the enemy here. I'm also curious to see my religious branches. What will the religions look like over here? Let's take a look at my court chaplain. Inu Hada Ana of Ur, so Sumerian religion. And I wonder if we have, like, cultural decisions that we can do. Oh my goodness, we do, guys. So we can divine the stars, look to the heavens and see what future has in store for you. That is pretty cool. I'm liking this so far. Of course, there's a lot that still needs to be added. Um, this is, like, the very early part of the mod. But I can't wait to see what else they add. And it looks like right now, they are doing pretty well against us. We've got to get in there with our allies and immediately join the fight. 
try to put an end to the enemy here. The Bronze Age is a bloody age, and especially if you like having to really work from the bottom all the way to the top, I would highly recommend this age. Because as you can see, most of these countries, most of these city-states really, are just that. They're city-states, they're very small, and uh, you can really make a massive name for yourself, depending on your on your combat prowess, of course. Come on. Oh, we need we need reinforcements now. We need them right now. Come on, allies. You're taking too long to get here. And that's unfortunate. We've just been in prison. Well, isn't that just like Crusader Kings 3? I think this time we're going to stick more to the Aegean. I mean, there's a lot of fascinating stuff here. And we're in 1590 BC, so you start to see these areas merge together. Unlike much earlier in 2000 BC, these areas are now united. So we've got Mycenae. We've got Crete. And look at the power of Crete here. But more amazing than either of those is Hatti. Over here, the Hittites, as many of you know from history, Hittites take over a tremendous amount of different empires. So obviously, I would call these sort of the Mongol hordes of their, of their time period. And even Lower Egypt is unified under Pharaoh Apepi of the Hyksos here. Now, I just want to go ahead and continue playing a bit longer as someone that I'm not really familiar with. Let's go with Utima, uh, looks like over here in Troy, with uh, the Luwian, organized Luwian faith, and the Carcassonne culture. Let's check them out and see what they're like. Um, at this point, I'm open to any new experience, with some exceptions. But this is interesting, guys. So already, we have some children. Son Samas Bani Anatar is our heir. For our lifestyle, learning is always my least favorite lifestyle. I'm going to go for stewardship. We'll, we'll sort out the rest later and just get started but as you can see here you know for us to actually have to grow out and capture this area have any sort of actual power i think it's going to take quite a while and i can imagine that in a multiplayer setting this would be perfect of course as you can see this one specifically focuses on the aegean so depending on the map you choose you're going to get sort of different setups different worlds and i think that's also quite interesting here focusing specifically on the aegean seems like a really good multiplayer challenge so something else I've noticed that's uh, somewhat strange, and I don't know if this is due to this time period or not, but you can't actually raise a raiding army. That's not an option. What you can do is you can lead a raiding expedition over here. So we're going to declare war on our friend here, Petty King Partaluzi. That looks far too much like the demon from The Exorcist. I'm going to go ahead and just declare war on him and hope for the best. Let's raise our armies and see what this battle is going to be like. So I'm guessing, obviously, smaller armies, because these are city-states vying for control against other city-states. Let's head out there and see if we can't win a monumental victory. Come on, boys. I don't even know if we have enough men to conquer this area. Come on, you can do better than that. You're not impressing me, men. Marianu, Petty King Lugazi killed. I don't. These names are extremely complicated. I'm usually pretty good with foreign names, but my goodness. My goodness, man. Now we're going to jump in here and see if we can even take the city itself. I am curious to see what happens when we win a raiding expedition. It does look like these cities are much smaller than, of course, these cities in the medieval period, so I guess we can take it. 79%. One more victory in combat. And I believe we have a victory in this raiding war. And I'm just curious to see kind of what happens. All right, my son is a brewing troublemaker. That is good news. Wait a minute. Wait. What, what is he? Come on now. I don't know if he's in... Is it possible that he's added the fort system? That would be interesting. So the fort system in Imperator is you can't cross a land province if there's a fort in the way. There we go, guys. We got a victory, and let's see what we win in this war. I was hoping for land, but I don't think we get land. Let's enforce our demands. So we get 35 gold and 70 prestige. So again, wars during this time period may not lead ultimately to the end of any particular civilization or kingdom. Uh, it just could be basically you showing the enemy that you're better than they are, and obviously making money at their expense. That's always fun. Well, best of luck to you guys in the Bronze Age mod. I do hope you guys enjoy yourselves. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and please subscribe to the channel. I'd also ask that you please check me out on twitch.tv, where I'm actually streaming right now. It's twitch.tv slash Agrippa Maxenius. And uh, make sure to follow us. We're going to be playing some Bronze Age mod over there, so it could be a time for you to get some experience in this game. Well, I'll catch you on the next one, folks. Thank you for watching.